guys, it's finally here. I'm so excited. I've literally been waiting all day for this. I haven't even opened it because I wanted to do it on camera and I'm so excited to finally get my hands on it. I swear I was like the luckiest because I saw this on their site before it was even announced, even before like Trendmood announced this, even before Dubious Place announced this, I saw this up on the site and I snagged it and I even paid for express shipping because I wanted to be one of the first ones to have this palette. So let's open this together and see what it looks like. So it comes with a little bubble wrap inside of it. I love how they package these. I've never had a Dubious Place palette that came broken. So hopefully this won't be the first one because I would literally cry right now if that happened. So I'm going to take it out and it looks like this. It's so pretty. I love their packaging so much. Okay, let's open this together. Three, two, one. Oh, there it goes. Oh my goodness. <gasps> She's so pretty. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. So I had this brilliant idea when I was looking at this palette and I was like, I don't think there's a better time than this to do the use every shade in the palette challenge. So that's what we're gonna do today. I have no idea how this is going to go. Um, keep in mind, this is not going to be a review. It's going to be a first impression. But from my experience with Dubious Place, uh, the quality of their shadows are great. I really, really love their formula. So I'm so excited to dig into this and, and try it out. So I think we're just gonna get started. First, I need to take like 30 minutes to think about what I'm gonna do here because 12 shades is a lot to put on my eyes. So when I figure that out, I'll be right back, which will be in a second for you guys. I think I have a plan. So what I'm gonna start off with, I'm not gonna tell you what my plan is yet and you're just gonna have to follow along and uh, take it as it goes with me. So I'm gonna use Kesey down here as my transition shade. And I'm just putting down a very, very soft layer of this. I don't want this color to be very pronounced. Just something to blend in the other shadows too. Next up, I'm taking this tennis brush from Inglot and I'm going to be dipping into the green and putting that in my first half as another transition shade. Next up, I'm dipping into this blue, and if you can see here, I have no idea how to pronounce this name, so I'm not even going to try, I'm just going to call it a blue. And I'm going to be putting this on my outer corner, also up in my crease, and connecting it with that green that we just put down. And so far, these shades are blending exactly how I remember Juvia's Play Shadows to blend, and I really love their formula, I think it's amazing. So if you haven't yet tried Juvia's Place, I would highly recommend it. So originally my plan was to do a cut crease, but I'm actually leaning against that now. So I'm just going to be connecting this blue, making a V here in the outer corner. And this blue is awesome. Okay, now for the fun part. We're gonna start going in with the shimmers and I'm gonna start off with this very dark blue shimmer here and I'm going to be putting that in my outer corner and I will be spraying this because that's how I prefer to apply my shimmery shades. Next, using the same brush, this is a MAC 242S. I'm gonna be going in with this dark green up here, and I'm going to put that in the middle of my lid. Next up, I'm going in with this Kofi shade down here, this gold shade, and I'll be doing the same thing and putting that right next to where I put the green. Okay. 
Next up, I'm going to take Angelique, this really pretty shade down here, and I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm just going to pop that right here where we don't have any shadows yet. Now for a little bit of fun, I'm going to take this yellow shade, I think it's called Aya, and I'm going to put that a little bit, not really in my inner corner, but more so right here up to my brow bone and it kind of connected to the blue. Alright, so the upper lid is done and all we have left now are these red and brown shades. So these two shades right here and these two. So I'm going to start off by first going in with this shade on my outer corner. Next up, I'm going in with camera, the shade right here, and I'll be putting that in the middle. And lastly, I'll be putting Dakar, this bright red shade, in my inner corner. And for my last shade, I can't actually believe this is my last shade and it's gone as well as it has. I'm gonna take Fifi Fi Fi which is a shimmery shade and I'm going to take this on a very flat brush and I'm going to pack this color right along my lash line Alright, I'm gonna go off camera and just finish off the rest of the look and then I'll come back with the conclusions on the Afric palette so here's the finished look. I put on a little bit of winged liner, some mascara, and then I popped this Wet n Wild pink pencil in my waterline, and I really think that made a big difference. So honestly, I'm really happy with how my look came out. I'm really happy with this palette. I think the shadows perform just as good as they always do. If you want to see more videos like this, maybe more challenges, let me know what you want to see down in the comments. I'm very new to the YouTube game, so you know, I'm open to doing pretty much anything. And since I don't have a lot of subscribers yet, you know, if you leave a comment, there's more of a chance that I'm gonna end up doing what you tell me to do. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to my channel if you like my content. If not, no worries. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you stick around and I will see you in my next one. Bye.